Here we have an elderberry tree that I just transplanted a couple weeks ago, and it's doing pretty good, you can see there. And I wanted to show you how good Chop and Drop is to take care of your weeds. Weeds are full of different minerals and things trees and plants need. So if you are transplanting, you don't need to clear out every single weed in the area. You've got your section that was cleared out when planting with some mulch on top, some compost, and then we just take the weeds, rip the tops off, and throw them in there. If when you're pulling on the weed, if it comes out, the roots and all, well, that's fine. You don't want the weed there anyway. But each one of these is going to then feed this plant, this elderberry tree here. The more variety, the better. We've got some mule in here. We can take some leaves there, toss them on there. And this is called chop and drop. You chop up the weeds and drop them on what you want to keep or what you want to feed. And eventually the environment here will change and the weeds will be suppressed either by the growth of the plants or just the environment changing in that area from whatever it is you're planting. As this mulch continues to get larger area, then we will plant more perennials in there that we want and continue to kick out all of the weeds. We just wanna make sure we're grabbing the tops of these before they flower or be well, before they seed. The flower is fine as long as it's not a weed that will continue to produce seeds even if you chop it down so some of them will do that so we just do that and within a day or two all of that will be dead it'll mat down and the worms will love it and it will hold in more moisture and feed this tree and that's it that's chop and drop using weeds for your mulch <laughs>